<laughs> I don't know whether I'm going to sing it. Don't don't know Nigeria from top to bottom. <laughs> hey, I don't even know what to say at this point. Is it that I will start singing the Oloris from top to bottom? Top to bottom. I don't even understand. I don't know what is happening right now. My correct correct people. No before on this space now we heard allegedly that uh, all of it uh, uh, Miriam went into Kabiesi's chamber for Kerewa. That it was her turn. She wanted to have a child for Kabiesi and Kabiesi chased her out. <laughs> Now, now we do already they hear another thing. You know. Let it not be what uh, some people are thinking. Uh, uh, because a lot of people are like, oh, does he mean that she met another person during the time she was not into the inside the palace and she now wants to hung something on Kabiesi's neck? I don't understand. Hey, <laughs> my correct, correct people, please and please and please. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching uh, you're watching this video from, and then it's we go come across this video. How are you all doing today? So my correct Country people, um, they are least info where we had today. A little, hmm, hmm. you know, I started with please and please and please. I beg, remember that all these are alleged info and the rumors tend to remain rumors, they may or may not be verified. You get, and please consider giving the video a thumbs up. Yeah, like the video now. Yeah, thank you for doing that. It goes a long way. So, we had allegedly that uh, Olori Miriam announced pregnancy to KBSC. Mm, you heard me right. So remember, KBAC announced their their stand in his life, and they equally made it known to the entire public that he doesn't want to do anything with them any longer. In fact, they they are not in his life; they don't exist. As far as he's concerned, they are not into existing. They are not existing. So we heard that allegedly, and people we are so happy that KBAC already they wake up from. Uh, slumber this time to you know deal with these women and deal with them once and for all so people were so happy about that all of a sudden now we they hear another alleged information where we know kukuma understand waiting they happen so according to the alleged info as it got to us we had allegedly that olori miriam came into the palace during the time kbsu was telling them how horrible they've been in his life and how he always pray and wish that they are not in his life that they never they are not even in existence at all at all that uh, he would have been a happy man so after the announcement and every other thing Olori Miriam went to KBSC to inform KBSC that see you if you are trying to chase us out of the palace know it and know peace that I am prego hey hey my country people <laughs> That uh, she is pregio, pregi, 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 that she is pregnant for KBAC. Yes, that was what we heard allegedly. That uh, she is pregnant for KBAC and that uh, she is not going anywhere. That if KBAC is looking for a way to send them out of the palace, that KBAC should plan that with other Olobis that are not pregnant. But for her, we be Olobi, Miriam, that she is pregnant and currently carrying the. Uh, the the child of the throne and for that reason kbac don't need to send her out that sending her out means rejecting the child that is coming into this world so my correct correct people this raised a whole lot of dust i will tell you yeah so according to uh the alleged info and the you know the comment section of the alleged info i saw a whole lot of comments people were like ah kbac remember that you were told one time ago never to accept any child that you don't know his or her existence or anything in fact people have started you know telling kbs to be very careful that how will all of miriam be pregnant and was still coming to kbs for kiriwa yes and when kbs asked her that period she was like eh, she wanted to have a baby for kbs that there is no way she will stay in the uh, the kbs will send them out of the palace and she will not have anything to show for it so that was the reply she gave then as we heard allegedly that uh, she wanted to have ch a child for KBAC that she took this uh, medication that they now told her to meet KBAC or so and that was the reason why she went to KBAC's chamber and KBAC chased her out okay now she already they announced pregnancy some people we are like this is the type of uh, thing that happens in Nollywood movies we are a woman might be pregnant and will want to hang it on top of another person's head. That it might be the case with Olori Miriam. That maybe when Kabi assistant her out, she must have gone back to her ex-husband and pium pium pium. She must have carried Bele and she was looking for a way to hang the pregnancy on top of KBAC. But thank goodness KBAC no kerewaha that day. 
Yes, had he been that cabby as he get a that day, waiting for be cabby as he say, waiting in go the talk now. Mm hmm. Waiting in go the talk because he go there like, in fact, no going back for him again, no, because now all on him, I'm already uh, twisted that uh, rejecting the pregnancy or sending her out is as if, you know, KBAC is rejecting the child where they come into this life. That KBAC should not try that with, him, with her. My correct, correct people, I was like, this pregnancy, I've been for water nine, they take the drink, um, I don't know. I don't know if now from water nine then they take they bring this pregnancy and they go enter the abele where 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 I don't really know because Kabiye is already they they ask some question ah uh ah -uh. this one where they talk about pregnancy what happen who give you the belly other people we are like you know Kabiye see uh, this thing uh, that uh, they freeze it in the hospital if the always want to become pregnant they will go there they will mix it with their egg and pium. They will transfer it to them if they want to do IVF and they will become pregnant immediately. All right. So people are like, maybe that was what she did. In fact, a lot of uh, story day online concerning this whole matter now. But people are just like advising KBSC to be very, very careful with Olovi Miriam this time. Uh, other people came boldly to be like, she's not any pregnant. She's not pregnant anything. That this is another means of her distracting KBSC to make KBSC wait longer or anything. Mm -hmm. So there we are like, KBSC shouldn't listen to her. My country people, a lot they, a lot still they come up. I was like, make I carry this one coming to na for na do moto. Make on a here as it, as it take the buzzbos and equally drop on a thought about that. Yeah, all of Miriam, as we had allegedly already announced that she's pregnant, that she's expecting a baby for the royal family. Yeah, and for that, KBS shouldn't send her out of the palace with her pregnancy that, uh, um, that uh, she needed uh, uh, that love to, you know, pass the first trimester stage or something. My country people, hmm, this matter is already there, like, person will climb up tree and mess. You know, go know where the smell take they come from. You go just, they go round and round and round and round. So, my country people, what do you think? What do you feel about this particular alleged information? About Olori Miriam coming out to say that she's pregnant. Hmm, how do you see it? What do you see it like as? Kindly let me know whichever one or uh, where you see it as on that comment section. And please do not forget that all these are alleged information and rumors tend to remain rumors. They may or may not be verified. So, when believing, believe with a pinch of salt. Yes, so my correct, correct people. Olobi, Miriam, as we had allegedly, is pregnant. Mm -hmm. She don't already announced pregnant. Let it not be the type of pregnancy where after three months they will start telling us stories again. No, let it not be. Anyway, my correct, correct people, I'm going to be ending it here now. I'll see you soon in my next upload. Bye-bye. Thank you and God bless you.